We haven't really talked about all night. We haven't really talked about football at all, have we? Yeah, that's shocking business. Uh, because I love football. I mean, I, I hate, I mean, in a way, I hate football at the moment because Nationalmannschaft, the German national team, we are shit at the moment. We, we have now not won a major tournament for 16 years. Uh, having me to final one for about 48 months. <laughs> yeah, all those days of hurts. <laughs> Yeah, it's got more traction in England, uh, or at least you know your shit, innit? Ah, uh, uh, do you know what? I mean, Scottish football, what do we make of that? I don't know, what do we make of it? Well, I think there is one problem, main problem with football in Scotland is the Scottish FA trying to ban sectarian singing. Because that is the main problem, isn't it? Because the sectarianism is the only thing that makes Scottish football worth attending, innit? Yeah, I mean, instead of deducting points, they should be given bonus points, eh? I mean, all, otherwise, all that's left is 22 plonkers hoofing the ball about. Huh? <laughs> and, and, and I mean, what I like about football songs is football songs. They are written by the common man. They are not, they've got no, of no interference from authority. And that means uh, they're football songs. They tell you a lot about what's right and wrong in a society. And if you were to ask me, Henning, is there one song that sums up everything that's wrong with Scotland? Yes, there is one football song. It sums up everything that's wrong with Scotland. It's about 30 years old, but today it's still every little bit as relevant as it was back then. You know it, yeah. Could you go a chicken supper, Bobby Sands? Could you go a chicken supper, Bobby Sands? Could you go a chicken supper, dirty fucker? Could you go a chicken supper, Bobby Sands? Yeah, and that song sums up everything that's wrong with Scotland. Quality of food. <laughs> and because Bobby Sands, depending on your viewpoint, was an Irish freedom fighter or IRA terrorist. I haven't got an opinion one way or the other, and if I had, I'm, I would keep it firmly to myself. <laughs> I mean, two things are undisputed about Bobby Sands. He was Catholic and he was on a hunger strike. And by being on that hunger strike, he had a moral high ground. So the Protestants, they didn't like that. So they met in one of their orange lodges, yeah? white gloves to here, bowler hat, flute, dowel money. Yeah? <laughs> and one of them holding a pen, the one that could write. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. And, then, and, then, and we're going, and Bobby Sands, he's on a hunger strike. We're not liking that. We want to tempt him away from that hunger strike. Is there any dish? that no human being could possibly refuse. <laughs> and the best they could come up with was a chicken supper. <laughs> a fried chicken with chips. And then second, could you go a can of coke to wash it down? <laughs> so essentially they're saying, we're giving that Bobby Sands fried chicken, chips and a can of coke. And at the strength of that delicacy, he'll immediately abandon his hunger strike. <laughs>